apologize for the ding, but I got the headlights on to show you that we do have, it's this bulb here that's out. The inside bulb, or yeah, no. It's the outside bulb, I'm sorry. It's the outside bulb that's out. The inside one is our high beams. We just got our low beams, or our low beam on the passenger side is out. Um, so let's uh, see if we can't dig into there and get and get this light switched out. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to take it out, but I can just... Nope, it's got to be taken out. Because it kind of sits behind the front bumper over here. So, let's get this screw and this screw out. This one and this one. And we will see what we can't uh, uncover. Alright guys, totally my fault. I googled it. And it told me H11, but if you look closely enough on here, right there, it'll never zoom, never focus because it's so blurry, but it is an H9 bulb. Um, so totally my bad. I will go fix this tomorrow. I'll go return this and get an H9. Um, yeah, and there's not much you can do about it. It is what it is. Um, totally my fault. So with that being said, let's see if we can't get the bulbs thrown in real quick the fog lights um, hopefully what I have is right for those so uh, with that being said let's see if we can't get these to uh, fit in there all right guys so I'll pick up with this in the morning or in tomorrow afternoon uh, I'm, I think I have to look into the fuses so I got the wrong light or the wrong headlight for the headlight, the, the low beam, got the wrong light bulb, um, so I'll get that tomorrow. Um, as for the fog lights, I'm going to have to look into the system because when I press the button inside, it doesn't light them up, so maybe there's a fuse blown or something. Um, so I'm going to look into that, see if I can't figure that out. Um, so... Uh, there's that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get the tires um, taken care of tomorrow. I know there's a set locally. We'll see if the guy will mount and balance them. Um, I'm going to see if I can't work something out there. Um, what else? Um, tires. Um, I think that's pretty much it. The only thing left after that is this thing needs to be cleaned and driven. Um, we'll drive to see if we can't find anything suspension wise that's wrong with it. Um, that should be about it. Um, yeah, they're, like I said, the, the fuse, maybe, hopefully, it's all it is is a fuse. Um, but that's it. We got headlights. We got fog lights to do. We got a clean inside. And then the only thing that I'm debating other than that is maybe a buff on this hood. Um, give it a little bit of its shine back. Get rid of some of those swirl marks. Um, and also I need to, while I have that stuff out, I'm going to see if I can't buff out some of this. Some of the marks from the other door. Um, other than that, this thing is ready to go. We've done literally everything else. So, like I said, it just needs a good clean. Uh, sort out the lights. And get the tires. And we are good to go on this one. So, uh, yeah. I'll pick up with you guys when we're finishing up these headlights. Or the lighting. Not the headlights. The headlights and the fog lights. So, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. All right guys, I plan on ending this episode, this video, whatever. Um, it's been going on for a long time, so that means today we need to get a lot of stuff done. I wanna try buffing that hood. I wanna fix the molding on the other side. I wanna get that headlight sorted and um, fog lights. I wanna look into the fog light system. I ordered a, new, a switch, a U-switch um, off of eBay. Should be here soon, so if I can figure it out, Hopefully the switch will 
um, be the final thing. And then of course the wheels I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna get them done this weekend. I already found a set. I just can't go until Saturday. Um, so this little button here is broken. So I ordered the whole switch with all the inserts and everything. So uh, I'm just gonna replace that. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, and I need to detail the interior. That's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get started um, with this front headlight uh, topic here. So what I did is I, I put a new light in, still not working. Um, as you see, I did go get the correct, um, the correct uh, size or whatever, H9, and my, my light still doesn't work. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to pull probably this half of the bumper off and get this out and look at the wiring because we do get the running light, we do get the, the high beams. So there's got to be something uh, with the wiring to the low beams. Um, I may check the fuse to see if the fuse is blown. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let's uh, I'm going to look into that first. All right, guys. So stupid mistake by me. Um, I totally was looking at the wrong light bulb. So this one actually works. And this one is an H11. So this is the one that I was needing. And I replaced that bulb because I have it. And lo and behold, everything works now. It's weird how that works out when you change the correct light bulb. Oh, things that happen. So there you go. It's the middle bulb. And over here we got the middle bulb. So we are once again golden as far as headlights go. So let's get this headlight reinstalled. And uh, then we'll get this bumper put back on. And I'll move on to installing the fog lights. So I think once I get that switch, we'll be okay. But I'm still going to check a little bit of the wiring. Um, so I want to make sure that the switch is getting the voltage that it needs. Um, because I... Let me think about this so I say it right. I'm not getting... There's a little LED on the button. And I'm not getting the... Uh, little LED to illuminate. So I press the button and it never comes on. Um, so uh, that tells me we might not be getting power to the switch. Maybe a different fuse is blown. Definitely not the one under the hood. I was doing a little research and I believe there's one on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. So the, from what I read, there's a possibility of three fuses for that switch. So I'm gonna look to see if there's any fuses blown, make sure we're getting power, that type of thing. Um, and try to get the whole system ready for when the new button comes. Um, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reinstall all this stuff. And uh, hopefully have this front end wrapped up here fairly quick. Um, so I'm gonna get all this thrown back in. You've seen me do it, so I'm not gonna record that. Uh, this video is probably already really long, so um, with that being said, let's get this front end put back together. And just like that, this bumper is completely put back together. Um, so now, let's attack these fog lights. Like I said, I'm going to install the fog lights in the... the actually, I'm going to going to install the bulbs for now. Actually, I'm going to install the bulbs. If I have to take them out, I have to take them out. It is what it is. Um, but I'm going to install the bulbs, install the housing, and install the front plastic thing and get this front bumper completely sorted. Um, right after I do the little bit of electrical testing that I want to do. Um, so I first want to check and make sure that... to uh, Check to see if I'm even getting any any power to any of these. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ground out my multimeter and then I'm just going to touch each pin to see which one is getting power. If none, then we're going to check the wiring and trace it back to whatever fuse, um, that, to whatever fuse that, uh, is the next one upstream, I guess, if there's multiple, um, and see what we got. Um, I got lots of fuses here. We just got to figure out 
if it's a faulty wiring, if it's a fuse, or what the deal is. So I'm going to do a little bit of testing to see what I can't find, and then uh, I will check back in with you guys when I've either figured it out or given up with it. So um, I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, so just what I thought. The, I was looking for an issue with the fog lights, but the car has to be running for them to be on. So our switch is good. We don't need a new switch. I don't need to chase anything down, but I still need this switch, so I'm not going to cancel that order. I still need this centerpiece because it's broken. Um, so that's actually really awesome news. I can just put this thing back in there, for, or I'm going to leave that out because I got to change that. But actually, I can put that right back because the dimmer actually works. I can just switch that out quick because it's just a little clip in thing. Just like that. So awesome news. That's another thing that I can pass off the list. I just need to install the uh, fog lights. I just need to install these fog lights into the bumper and then uh, get that front piece on and I'll give you guys a look at what this front end looks like all complete. front end is put back together and looking good so with that being said we will uh, move on to I think I'm going to detail the interior next um, not much to show you dark inside I've got some tools and stuff I need to pick up but uh, shouldn't be too too long uh, I got to do a good scrub down and, and whatnot but I like I said I've already cleaned the trunk so we don't have to do that the trunk is complete, um, so I'm just going to start in the driver's seat, move around, and uh, get this thing cleaned out. Just like that, we've got, you can't see anything. Um, I got my light. So, and just like that, we are complete, finished with the detail on the interior. She turned out pretty nice. I'll show you again in the morning, or tomorrow afternoon, or actually, no. This is all you're gonna get, and you will see the final in the daylight on the final video where we um, complete we are completely uh, finished this thing tires and everything so uh, this is the second to last video and I'll do one more on when this is complete I'll give it a wash before I do it um, yeah so interior is all clean and looking good next is to get to seeing if we can get some of these scratches and scuff make it a little prettier I know I'm not gonna be able to get all of them because like right here the paints coming off but I want to be able to see if I can get some of this white off anyway um, and then from there we are gonna go on to the hood and see if I can't just polish out polish out some of these swirl marks so um, Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video, so if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button, uh, share it with your friends, uh, drop a comment down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video.